Hey guys, it's Scarlett with Bewitched by Scarlett, and today we're going to be talking to you a little bit about how to season your cauldron and to um, keep your cauldron clean and make it last for a long time if you're using a cast iron cauldron. And it's very, very similar to if you own a cast iron skillet, you have to keep it seasoned and do some special things with it that you normally wouldn't do if you were just using like say a bowl or a metal dish or something like that um, but it will last a lot longer typically you can get uh, 10 years or so out of a little cast iron cauldron or a bigger one doesn't really matter as long as you season it and keep it properly cared for um, so I'm going to go over the exact process that is included with caring for your cauldron properly and I'm probably going to do maybe a little voiceover or something like that and show you actually how I do mine because it's about time for me to clean mine and to reseason it but I'm going to start my process over from the beginning so as if you were getting your cauldron for the first time and you were looking to season it or uh, wash it and then season it so I'll do that voiceover and just kind of walk you through my process uh, as to what I do um, the cauldron that I'm gonna be using is about two years old it still looks new uh, I've kind of let it lax a little bit though lately about keeping it properly cleaned and so um, that's why there's a little bit of buildup in it which is perfect for me to show you guys how to properly care for it so when you very first get your cauldron and it's brand new, you want to wash it out with soap and water only the first time, which is very similar to a cast iron skillet. You'll notice that in the instructions for a cast iron skillet, you do that washing with soap and water the first time and then after that you wash it with just water um, and put it in the oven to kind of burn everything off. It's very similar to that. So we're going to wash it with soap and water. like I said I'm treating this like the first time just so I can show you guys and because of the buildup that's in it we're gonna wash it with soap and water we're gonna season it a little bit with some olive oil and we're gonna put it in the oven so for the seasoning of the olive oil you're gonna just take some and either dump it in and kind of make sure it's coated very nicely top and bottom meaning the lid and the actual cauldron itself and you want to make sure you get outside as well and you can either you know drizzle it in and kind of swirl it around and use your fingers or you can use a paper towel or a reusable rag if you don't want to get your hands dirty Once we have our cauldron all oiled up, rinsed and oiled up and ready to go, we are going to turn the oven on to 300 degrees and we're going to place our cauldron on a cookie sheet, top and bottom again, and we're going to put it in there for about 30 minutes or so. Then we're going to pull it out and be very, very careful when you pull it out. Obviously wear oven mitts to pull the actual cookie sheet out. And you don't want to take the cauldron off yet. You want to let it fully cool. And once it's fully cooled, you can take it off and uh, use it as normal. So seasoning your cauldron actually creates a non-stick cooking surface which is essentially what we're doing. If you're burning um, 
paper for spell work or incense, it doesn't matter what, technically it's getting so hot that you're cooking something. So we want to create that non-stick surface uh, along the whole inside of the cauldron, but it gets so hot that we need to have the surface extend to the top and the sides as well. So if there is anything still stuck on to the inside of your cauldron, like you'll notice with mine, you can use a stiff brush or a um, kind of a, a harder scrubby to get those sides out. You want it to be completely clean once you are ready to put the oil on so it creates that slick surface. So after the initial time that you have washed your cauldron with soap and water, you might still occasionally get stuff stuck to the sides and the bottom on the inside, but you don't want to use soap and water if at all possible. You want to try to use really, really hot water and you can use that stiff brush if you need to. And you can season it every so often and that'll just help keep the cauldron functioning as best as it can and help it last a really long time because I've actually heard of people getting 15 years or more out of their cauldron if they season it properly and care for it in the way that it should be. Once I take my cauldron out of the oven, I typically let it sit for about an hour or so to make sure that it's completely cooled. After that, if there is a thin line of oil that remains along the surface, I just take a dry cloth and just kind of wipe it over a little bit just to make sure that all of that oil is applied to the surface or off. So I want to hear your all's favorite spells or uses for your cauldron, or if you don't have one yet, um, tell me what you're most looking forward to about getting one. Go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. So I hope that my tips for seasoning and caring for your cauldron help you guys get many, many years out of your cauldron and help you in your practice of magic in any way that it can. And a big thank you for watching guys and make sure you click like and subscribe and make sure you click the bell to get notified of the next video that pops up for you. Also, make sure you follow me on social media. You can click the description box below and follow those links or you can wait to the end and click on the profiles that are listed on the video. Thanks for watching Bewitched by Scarlet, guys. Blessed be.